गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी एवरी व्यूअर दिस वीडियो यू मस्ट वेलकम इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो विच बिलोंग्स टू स्टैंडर्ड नाइन एंड टॉपिक इज दैट फिजिकल डिविजन्स ऑफ और फिजियोग्राफिक डिविजन्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड सब टॉपिक इज द हिमालयन माउंटेन रेंजेस देर आर many physiographic divisions of india are the himalayan mountain ranges one means this region from this region to this region in this part where himalayan mountain are situated so this is categorized one himalayan mountain ranges according to this and second is that northern plain and northern plain from this margin this part of the country to it is the northern plain and this is the peninsular plateau three numbers three numbers is this and this is the peninsular plateau and fourth number third desert it is the third desert and fifth is that coastal plain this is the coastal plain this is the coastal plain of the country and six number islands islands are andaman nicobar group of islands six number it is islands lakshadweep islands which are the parts of india and daman and diu islands all of these are categorized as islands so uh, today we will discuss about the himalayan mountain ranges Himalayan mountain ranges when we discuss when we consider on the Himalayan mountain ranges then we find that in the mountain Himalaya is the newer most mountains in the world newer most mountain <clears throat> so it is geologically young mountain geologically means the study which related to interior of the earth that is the geology when we studied when we observed the interior parts of this himalayan mountain then we then we considered that it is young mountain and when we on the basis of structure it is the fold mountain means fold mountain on which the upper parts of the mountain have compressed and create this type of fold so that is the fold mountain this type of suppose it is the parts of different and in this marginal parts this may folded so this is the fold mountain so structurally this mountain is considered as the folded mountain this is the folded mountain and when we consider on the stretches of this country this himalayan mountain so the himalayan mountain is started from indus river it is the mansarovar lake and from mansarovar lake the river indus in this way and river sangpo this is the river sangpo that enter in india when it enter in india it become brahmaputra so this brahmaputra mountain so this is the brahmaputra mountain then himalaya stretches from the jammu and kashmir means the indus river to this the brahmaputra river so and the distance between this region to this region is approximately 2400 km this is 2400 km is the length from jammu kashmir to arunachal pradesh so it is the 2400 km is the length of this mountain range 
and when we consider on the breadth of this mountain range the breadth of this mountain range is is broader in jammu and kashmir approximately 400 km in jammu and kashmir the breadth of this mountain is approximately 400 km while the breadth of this mountain is in arunachal pradesh this is the arunachal pradesh in this arunachal pradesh its breadth is only 150 km means 150 km is the breadth of the river of the mountain and in arunachal pradesh while the length between this jammu kashmir is the 400 km so means breadth 400 km in jammu and kashmir and 150 km in arunachal pradesh so this is the breadth of this himalayan mountain range when we discuss when we consider on the height from the sea level of the whole mountain system in the india then we find that the eastern half means this is the eastern half this is the western half and this is the eastern half so then eastern half is great have greater height eastern ghat has greater height while the western half have lower height some lower not very lower some lower from the eastern half so because in eastern half where all prominent peaks are found like everest mount everest kanchanjunga makalu so these are the these are found in the eastern half namcha barwa dhaulagiri while in western half only k2 k2 means tara koram 2 which is the indian highest altitude but do you do you know that this k2 is not under domination of india actually it is pakistan dominated part of kashmir so it is not considered as the india's highest mountain range india's high, highest mountain range is kanchanjunga that is kanchanjunga which are found in the state of sikkim tholagri so so eastern half of this himalayan mountain range is have greater height while the western half of this mountain have some lower height from the eastern half there are three parallel ranges of Hima of himalaya are the greater himalayas the greater himalayas next is that the middle himalayas and this is the lesser himalayas so three it is the himadri it is greater himalaya is considered as himadri while middle himalayas is considered as himachal and the the lesser himalayas or the outer himalayas is considered as the shivalik so these three parallel ranges of himalayas are found in this region in the himadri which have himadri which have approximately 6000 meter high from the sea level in himadri this is the himadri range and in this himali um, himadri range where all prominent peaks of the himalayas are found they are mount everest they are namcha barwa they are dhaulagiri kamet sagarmatha <coughs> annapurna kanchanjunga so these are the different mountain ranges are different mountain peaks all prominent uh, mountain peaks are uh, found in this himadri range but the and and the and this mountain range this mountain peak have of have 
high from the 6,000 meter, like Mount Everest, 8,850 meter, uh, and Jaulagiri, Makalu, and um, Namcha Barba, all of these have uh, outer, um, uh, uh, higher of the 7,000 meter and above. So, all prominent peaks are found in this Himachal, Hima, this Himadri. The average height of this Himadri is that 6,000 meter high. 6,000 meter high is the average height of this Himadri. And second is Himachal. Himachal is the parts of Himalayas that have some lesser height from the Himadri. And average height of this is the 4,000 meter high from the sea level. And all prominent dunes and uh, <coughs> hill stations like Shimla, Jalhoji, these are situated in this region. Shivalik have the outer zone where Nainital, Bhimtal are found. So these are the, this is the <coughs> latitudinal and you um, in this segment you can find that the Himalaya is in, is in the form of arc. It is arc. This is the arc. So Himalayas are found in arc, and it is it have three parallel ranges: Himadri, Himachal, and Shivali. Okay. Next matter next day. Thank you very much.